Hey guys, this is Ishmael Amte. So in case you own a camera device, be it a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, and streaming is your thing, that is streaming to either Facebook, YouTube, and the rest, you might be wondering how can you go about using your camera to stream to some of these platforms. So that is actually the purpose of this video. So for me, I'm using the Canon M50, and I'm going to show you how you can actually use some of these um, cameras to actually stream or use them for your live streaming. So to get started, um, you have to download um, some utility software. So for Canon, you can download the US, um, the Canon US um, webcam utility. So let me just um, head to my browser and then search um, on Google, just search for Canon US utility. So Canon US utility. And then I, so it's going to take me to the site, which is going to give me some information about how this works. So here's the site and the good thing is you can actually download this for either Windows or for Mac. So if you're a Mac user, you actually have an option to use this. Now, when you scroll to the bottom, you get to see the apps which are actually supported or you can use this utility to it. So there's um, Cisco WebEx, there's YouTube Live, there's um, Messenger, Facebook Live, there's Google Meet, there's um, Hangout, Skype, Slack, and even OBS, which is very cool. So we'll take a look at um, how to go about this particular um, tool using maybe youtube live as well as open uh, broadcast software that is obs so to be able to see the cameras which are supported you have to scroll to the bottom here and then you take a look at the cameras which are supported so since mine is the canon m50 my supported so what i have to do next is to simply click on it and then it is going to take me to the camera model section which has a lot of details about it where you can also download other um you know information or softwares for this particular camera so what i'm interested in uh, at the download section is when i scroll down here i have the us webcam utility for windows so that is what i want to download or depending on the camera you are using if it's supported you have to download the um, software for that so in my case i already have it downloaded so i'm not going to download it again and i also have it installed so after you're done downloading you just go ahead and then install it on your system now the next thing is how do you go about to configure this particular um, device and be able to use it for your streaming so if you are doing maybe youtube let's say streaming let me just um yeah let me just go to youtube.com and you go ahead and then click on the the live go live you have the option to use a webcam so let me just um, wait for this as it loads. My internet is not so fast here. So you realize that at the left hand section, there's an option for a webcam. So if you select webcam, by default, my um, PC webcam is going to be enabled. So I'll have to be able to um, change that. So let me scroll to the bottom and then change that. So you realize that there's an option to select uh, being it from the PC webcam or an integrated webcam. So since I have the Canon EOS web um, cam utility installed, I have the option to select that and once i select that it is supposed to flip over for me to see what the camera is showing now uh, the reason why it's not showing is because of course i'm recording from my camera and it can't do that particular multitasking so i won't see anything here but after this demo i'll actually make a video of how that works just the same process you go ahead to select the um, webcam utility over here and this is going to switch to your um, camera and then also you get to specify um, the webcam you want to I'm sorry the sound you want to use over here so these are a couple of sound options as well so that's one way you can go about especially if you are streaming to youtube you select the webcam as your um, your camera as your webcam and you are good to go why would you want to use your camera because with your camera you're actually able to adjust the settings you're able to change the lens you're able to get this shallow depth of field or you know this blurry background that would make your streaming much cool as compared to just using um, your phone or using a webcam from a piece or even a dedicated webcam so that's one way now the next one is let's take a look at how to go about this also using obs so let me just um, look for obs on my system so once you launch your obs software i'm just waiting for some few seconds for mine to start yes the uh, configurations you might want to do is to select uh, a capture device as well as and um, an audio input device so at this section let me just delete these ones at this section you hit on the plus icon that's where you have your sources you hit on the plus icon and then you head over to uh, select your video capture device 
and you click on OK since this is a new capture. And then you have the chance to select um, EOS webcam utility. So this is where if I wasn't recording from my camera, it would automatically switch over to my camera. And then um, if there are any other settings you want to perform, you just go ahead to do that. So you go ahead and then click on OK. And then you can do this also for your sound. So audio input, you go ahead to select um, your audio input. And in case you have any dedicated audio connected to it, you specify that. So in this case, and from my laptop, I just go ahead and select that, click on OK. And then those becomes my, I become my um, audio input device as well as my video capture device for my streaming. So, and then the next thing is you go ahead to, you know, do the configuration for your, um, that is your OBS, being it if you want to stream to YouTube, being it you want to stream to, um, that is uh, Facebook and so on. So you just head to the settings section, you go to general or maybe streaming. Uh, you select the platform you want to uh, stream to and then you provide the necessary details for them. So I'm not going to do that in this particular tutorial. So this is actually one test um, where I have my... So I'm actually streaming. So yeah, I can just be looking at the camera and I'll be talking um, with this. But this is unlisted so no one gets to get to see it. So that's one way if I'm using the camera as my you know, webcam. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead to end the stream. And let me go ahead and try out OBS. So this is OBS. Let's wait for some few seconds as OBS. Uh, well, I think I want, I stop this. Yes, and I want to end this. So when I come to OBS, let me just come to the video, uh, video capture card section. And let me select this. And okay, I think because my YouTube. Okay, so that's it now. So I click, uh, go ahead and click on OK and I can just stretch this to fit my screen. So as you can see, this is also from the OBS. And if I'm streaming, just that is if I've specified the necessary configuration for my streaming um, platform and the rest, I just go ahead and I hit on start streaming and then I am good to go. So that is how you can actually go about this process. And then, yeah, so basically that's just how to go about it for um, using camera devices. So for Sony devices, you also have the Sony um, imaging webcam um, utility software you can also download. Um, let me just take a look at how that also is going to work. So I just searched for Sony um, imaging um, webcam, yeah, so webcam software. And this is going to give me a link to just head over to Sony's website and then take a look at um, how to go about that as well. Unfortunately, I'm not using a Sony camera now, so I may not be able to walk you through the entire process. But of course, you can try it out and even let me know how this goes. So this is where you get to download for um, the specific camera I think you're using. Yeah, so this is the download section where you're able to download the utility software. And then I'm sure it's, it will definitely come with instructions on how to go about it. But basically, it will work just like how that Canon works like. So for Canon users, again, if you're interested in the models, you just have to come to this particular section and then take a look at the models which are supported. And once your model is supported, it's very easier for you to be able to um, use your camera as a streaming tool or as a webcam so that you don't have to necessarily, um, you know, be looking for um, a capture card to connect to your device before you can actually do that. So that is basically the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. In case you have any questions or comments or anything about how this, um, you know, maybe any more you want me to talk about, just kindly let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my possible best to um, do that for you. And in case you also know about any other means to go about um, this, being it uh, using a specific software or a specific process, you can also let share with me. So I'll try my possible best to uh, maybe make videos on those ones. As well. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Ishmael Lamte, and I'll see you in the next one.